big, beautiful 7,810 pound Freedom Express triple deep slide bunkhouse lightweight here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, 7,800 pounds, you could find maybe a lighter lightweight, but with three full depth slides and a taller six foot nine interior, I'd say they're doing pretty darn good. Um, it's had one owner, we sold it to them, and after a lifestyle change, they just simply no longer needed the RV. That's the only reason it's here. Everything I can see on this looks really sharp, and I think you're gonna be happy with it. This was always my favorite. This was the Java Decor. Um, just had a, I don't know, just had a really good classic look to it. Um, modern classic? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not an interior decor guy. I just know that aesthetically I found it pleasing. Um, like I said, larger six foot nine interior height. So what that means for a taller person like me compared to six and a half foot tall normal RVs, that means a taller slide out, taller cabinets, taller bunks, taller shower, and just a general overall nicer open feel. Uh, we'll come back to this interesting little ceiling uh, fixture here in a minute. But uh, over here in this extra long super slide, and that's the thing, this is uh, like a lot of slides are 13 six long. This is closer to 14 two. What that gives you is the full trifold height of bed sleeper sofa as well as the U-dinette. And that's one of the best parts about this floor plan is it just gives us all sorts of amazing bonus sleeper storage in addition to the bedroom. So you can sleep, I don't know, over a dozen people in here if you really, really needed to. Um, the uh, slide windows here, for extra light, they actually have a skylight above the dinette in some of these uh, Freedom Expresses. And there is a privacy shade you can pull over you right there so you don't feel like an ant cooking under a magnifying glass. But that extra light does help it feel nice and uh, more open in here. Now another thing that this has really going on with it is full storage below that dinette. So uh, one side has a full extension drawer, and even the rear bench has sliding panels to get to it, but with a door for big heavy stuff access on the uh, left side, if you will. And then next to that, there's this combination sort of linen, pantry, sort of whatever you want it to be. Now, you do have a full pantry next to the fridge, and we'll come look at that in a few minutes here. But this thing right here, that could kind of be whatever you want it to be. It could be an extra pantry. It could be your bathroom towel, linen space, whatever. Um, since we built this, I'm familiar with how it was put together. This will have the larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner on it. So this has got additional cooling power, or heating, yeah, cooling power. But for heating, you notice, they don't do floor ducted heat vents in a Freedom Express. That is something that allows them to get away from uh, potentially having dirt, debris, particulate in this floor right here. Like I said, we will come back to the kitchen. Quick look at the bathroom here. Everything on this looks good, by the way. They, uh, you could tell that they didn't neglect it and then just say, well, honey, let's try to get rid of this thing. I mean, even like the original um, towel hanger hardware here, they didn't even use that. So there's a lot of stuff here that is just extremely gently used. And again, that taller shower for a bigger person like me is just fantastic. You do have a sliding privacy door here to this double slide bunkhouse. And let me get in here and kind of give you a, a couple different 360 views of this thing. Um, because this is sort of the daytime position. You've got the, this pair of like double lounge sofas below and you can see how the bunks flip up out of the way. Back here in this bunkhouse we also have good storage which is something a lot of bunkhouses don't have. I like this extra little drawer down here. They uh, appear to have left some sort of NFL team poster behind, neither here nor there. But this closet, good God almighty, is awesome. That is just a ton of hanging space and there is a hanging rack up there. I like the hanging racks as opposed to a hanging rod because the racks tend to stay in place. Now, something that you're gonna find as we go through, the kitchen itself has upgraded countertops, but everything else is still better than industry standard T-molding when this is built with a uh, thermal foil sealed edge countertop right here where water can't really sneak into it. And if the kids are looking for entertainment, there are TV hookups back here. Also, you've got a handy little built-in phone charging center right there. But we're actually not done with, our, uh, with this other opposing slide. What's awesome, guys, is in a way, this RV kind of has two living rooms. One of them is very wide, and one of them is very long, with this being the wide one. Now, here's kind of the other neat thing about this. Let me back up a little bit. The uh, bunkhouse back here also converts into, obviously being a bunkhouse, all sorts of sleeping space. So um, starting with uh, this corner over here, you can see that you've got the uh, fold down lower dinette. So that can also fold into a sleeper with a, uh, a fold up down bed above that. 
And then as we come over here in this direction, you actually see that the overhead bunk over here also folds down with a, a dual sort of uh, flip out uh, sleeper arrangement down here below. So we can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people in here without really having to get too cute on how many people we're going to smash in together next to one another. This thing can have just an absolute truckload of sleeping capacity. Now they're also using, with this being the upgraded Liberty Edition, more lights and higher intensity lights. So this has an awesome, awesome lighting package in it. Now, um, you, can, uh, you can't really appreciate the kitchen with all of these cabinet doors shut. It's nice and pretty and clean. So I prepared an extra little featurette for you. Next to this larger eight cubic foot fridge, you have this big pantry. And uh, what's kind of nice is this is sort of in addition and not um, sharing the same space as like the sort of uh, maybe additional pantry or like uh, towel space, linen space next to the bathroom area. Now here around the sink, you have the Freedom Express utensil drawer, as I like to call it, because it's a U-shaped drawer that actually wraps around the sink that creates the perfect little uh, utensil space. Uh, general duty additional drawer there with max storage below. Now something that's very easy to miss on Freedom Expresses here is how much kitchen countertop prep space you have, because you think, well, they're probably all about the same. But if you look behind the stovetop, you see how there's like an extra foot of countertop space behind that? All of these stoves are the same size. So for that to be a little bit deeper means this entire countertop is bigger, gives you more prep space, and it's ideal for things like coffee makers or toasters or something out of the way, but still easily accessible. Now, if you notice the fireplace and the ceiling, they're both kind of back a little bit. It's easier to see around the electric heating fireplace down here. But if I get up close, you can actually see there is an LED backlight behind this. Now, during the day, doesn't doesn't seem real impressive. But at night, uh, that is like the perfect night light. So if you need to get through the RV or the kiddos need to get through or something like that, you're all set and good to go. Um, the, oh, all the entertainment, all the original electronics and everything, remote controls, everything here is present and accounted for. They, it, they took exceptionally good care of it. They used it very gently and they just kind of went, well, I think we're done. You know, that's it. Just sort of one of those things where I think we're good. Um, Bluetooth, DVD player, uh, TV. It, TV does spin around to face the bedroom and we do have sliding pocket privacy doors here as well. So uh, no one's going to be necessarily peeking at you. Now this is a longer 80 inch residential queen right here. Um, so it's not the, the shorter camp queen. Now you see a full length hanging wardrobe closets on both sides and dual element LED bulbs up front there. Uh, you, you tap them for blue, you hold them for white, and it gives you the combination of either nice reading lights or a nice bright light to actually see and get around in here. Now from a weight perspective, she's well within the capacity of a lot of half ton towing. But what you need to consider is the length of this thing. It is long, and the longer the RV is, the more inclined it is to be pushy behind you, the more inclined it is to make the back end of your vehicle wiggle back and forth. But that's exactly why they have these wide stance stability axles on here. By setting the axles further apart, it makes it harder for the trailer to wiggle back and forth, and it bounces up and down less to give you a smoother towing experience. Right above that, below this power awning with LED lighting, we have simple TV hookups. I do like the larger entry handle for coming and going, and I'd be remiss in my duties if I didn't mention the Asdell construction aspects of the Freedom Express family. So you can kind of see it right here, although it's pretty lackluster just to look at. That's the white stuff inside this door jam that we're looking at. Asdell is lighter than wood. It cannot rot, mold, mildew because basically it's a resin. So it's part of what allows this RV to be extra tall and extra long without being extra, extra heavy. A um, couple little accessories left over down in here. Again, the folks are just done. So a couple things that were RV specific they left behind. The original indoor-outdoor picnic table, still here, still present, still accounted for. And something I always forget to show in most of my demonstrations, always in most, that's funny, is the full-length LED light here, which is basically the same thing you have that runs under the awning. Uh, this is when they first started making the transition in Liberty Editions to the nicer uh, metallic latches there, the slam latches. And if I back up, you can see one of the best parts about not having a big door side super slide is that you actually get very nice... Um, awning space on here. So uh, we've got room on the nose for, on the tongue rack that is, 
for dual batteries, power awning, power tongue jack. This does have an enclosed heated underbelly. You can walk all over the roof. That's absolutely not a concern on a Freedom Express. The slide walls are seal gripping. Uh, the idea there being if the slide seals don't have proper wiper action, then you can experience water penetration. So they've eliminated that potential. You also see that all the windows are very heavily tinted. That'll arrest furniture fade, improve privacy, and uh, just keep the RV cooler because it blocks out the solar radiation. And I love what when Coachman does this, and they're very good at this at Freedom Express, is having all of your hookups in one corner like that, including the black tank flush and the outside shower. It's just easier to get hooked up at the parks. So good look at the dual opposing bunk slides from the exterior there. Um, aluminum wheels pretty much wraps everything up here. There's not much more to say on her. Um, well, actually, one more thing that's kind of critical for a lot of people, financing. This is young enough, it may still qualify, based on pending finance, obviously, um, for same-as-new RV financing, and that is something that is fantastic. So you can get a used RV um, at a used RV payment, but one that's uh, in a little more like newish sort of condition. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.